Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech. Today I'm here to show you how to make your desktop look awesome using a program called RainMeter. So getting started with RainMeter can be a little bit complicated, so what I recommend doing is look for templates that other people have already created that'll suit your needs. So around the time I was installing RainMeter, I was really into a game called Rocket League. Now some of you uh, will have noticed that I have been streaming that recently and using it as background gameplay for some of my videos, so I am really into it. Uh, really, really into it. Um, but yeah, basically, I was looking at themes for Rain Meter, and I was like, hey, maybe I could find one for Rocket League. And I actually came across one that's pretty amazing. So this theme originated on DeviantArt, uploaded by a guy called Mr. Coaster, so all credit goes directly to him, he's the one that made this theme, it's a really good job, it looks awesome. But basically you can download it on the DeviantArt uh, website, and a link to that post is in the description down below, but it was reposted on the uh, Rainmeter subreddit, and that's where I originally found it. But yeah, so basically just go onto the DeviantArt, which is linked down below, and you can click download and it will download a rain meter file which you can open up and I'll show you what to do from there. So guys, basically once you have installed it and uh, imported it into your rain meter uh, program, uh, you're gonna get a interface just like this one uh, minus these other files. These are things I've downloaded um, at other times. But basically, go to the Rocket League one and just click the drop down and we're gonna start with the dock which is this down here with the CPU usage and RAM and so Basically, if you don't see it, go to Dock and click Load, and it'll come up just like that. Um, and yeah, so if you want to move it around, make sure you select Draggable, and you can do that. If you're using two monitors, just uh, choose what one you want to use. But yeah, guys, uh, that's just basically how you do that, and for this, you probably don't want to change any settings, because there's not much to do. Um, but if you do want to, you can go to Edit, and there's some programming stuff here. But moving on to the menu... I'll show you how to change this, how to change what it says, and how to change what it links to. Um, so basically what you can do is click load again, um, move it around with the draggable thing, and move it monitor, move it to a different monitor using this. Um, oh, that's the last time I'll say that, I won't say it for the next one. Um, but yeah, so basically to change the text and where it links to, click edit. What you're going to see is a lot of complicated stuff, right? It's actually very, very easy. So say I wanted to, instead of, what's one I don't really mind changing? So looking here, we have a blank button here. So to add something to it, once we're into the files, um, say I wanted it to link to videos, uh, and then my stream highlights. So what I do is I just go to it. So I go to this PC, videos, stream. So this is where I want it to lead to. And then I right click up here on the, um, the location bar. Right click and copy address as text. So once I've clicked on that, I can just paste that right there as button target, and then I can call it whatever I want. And so, what, oops, what you put in here is what it's going to say there. So if I wanted to put in stream high lights, and then click refresh, and there it is. And so if I click on it, it'll lead us right there. And it's really snappy if it's something like a file. It's really, really nice, and the animations look good too. And so basically, that's how you do that. Um, so yeah. So moving on now to the music player and how to customize it. Basically, all you have to do is open the music player window, and you have two options here. So Windows Media Player and Spotify. Now, don't worry, Windows Media Player does mean every audio, that like any audio that comes out of the computer at all. So it doesn't mean you have to play it through Windows Media Player. So I use YouTube Red, for example, and when music is playing, it still does the audio spectrum bouncy thing, which is really cool. So if you use Spotify, it's even better. So if I click load here, because you have the name and of the song and the artist will come up and you can like play, pause, um, backwards, forward, skip, forward. It's really good, but I don't use that. I use YouTube Red and just YouTube in general. So yeah, uh, I just do this, load it up, and it comes up like this, and the audio spectrum comes when it plays, so it's cool. But to add text here, change that text, you just go edit, and for measure title, you just put in what you want, and measure artist, you just put in what you want there. And that's really all there is to that. Um, but yeah, that's super easy. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really do hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a little bit different. 
Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any questions about Rain Meteor or anything else, leave them in the comments below. I nearly said description. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I will be streaming every weekend now. I'm going to work out a schedule for that. But um, yeah, also, the giveaway is being pushed over one week, but I have a good reason for it. I am contacting some pretty big companies about sponsoring the giveaway, and so we're going to see if they'll get back to me. And if they do, the prize pool will just get a lot bigger. So that should be exciting, guys. That's the reason it's been moved. But yeah, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next week.